Hello Taurus, welcome to your daily reading. Let's go ahead and see what messages there are for you today. I hope you're feeling well and you're keeping safe and that you had a wonderful weekend Taurus. Alright, let's have a look. We have a broken heart. This is something that's in your energy, okay? It doesn't have to mean it right now. It could very well be something that happened to you in the past or something that you may be going through right now. Broken heart means a disappointment in love. Somebody behaved in a way that may have upset you. Daughter spirit opening up your spirituality, opening up to your angels and your spirit guides. Okay, so this is a development of your spirituality um, in order to deal with what this was, blossoming abundance, focusing on your career, focusing on your resources, focusing on your, basically your life okay and to better yourself so you've been through this opening the door to spirit your spirituality your relationship with your angels and guides blossoming abundance is all about making your life better self-improvement so let's have a look at what tarot want to say in regards to these what is happening with the broken heart daughter spirit and blossoming abundance all right we have the star which is a wonderful card to show up with a broken heart it means that you are healing that you are moving on from this disappointment in love where someone behaved or made choices that didn't align with you and so healing a guiding light moving on from this now sometimes the star could indicate that this is, uh, is a situation that had something to do with a an aquarius but it doesn't have to be an aquarius now page of pentacles is wonderful because it's saying that we're having good news in regards to our resources good news in regards to what we want to work on what we're improving our life in remember how i said it's about resources it's about our career it's about our finances page of pentacles is good news it's an open doorway much like door to spirit opening the door to something very positive judgment is another fantastic card now judgment is the sign of cancer which may mean that there is a cancer sign around you however the, the biggest meaning that I'm seeing along this um, spread so far is that judgment is saying that you're rising above where you once were. You're rising above. You're bettering yourself and your life and your status. You're improving your life. You're being risen. Your spirituality, your development in, in life in general, evolving growing and um, raising yourself up where you kind of should be okay living your best life in other words which is so nice for you Taurus let's get some more messages now if you like this reading please click like help my channel to grow by subscribing I'd appreciate that so much that's the heartache that showed up before so your guides really want to open this topic up for you they really want me to target a message to do with a broken heart that you've been through or that you're going through um, taking some time out reflecting on you know what you've been through um four of swords is saying that we're actually going through a bit of chronic fatigue uh, especially in the mental realm because it's swords and there's more swords swords are all about our mind our mental state and what we're thinking of so with swords it's really telling us that you're you're 
thinking about this, thinking about what got in the way of this relationship working. Um, four of Swords is again in saying that you, you may be exhausting yourself. However, the Fool is a wonderful card to show up in saying that we're moving on, we're t starting fresh, we're definitely taking steps forward um, in a new direction in our life. Ten of Cups is happiness, family, union and joy. And the sun could be a Leo around you. It doesn't have to be. Um, the sun is very much about success and victory. It's about um, also, you know, in traditional tarot, there's a child riding a white horse. And the white horse is kind of connected with the death card because the death is also riding a white horse. It's the same horse. Um, and the sun child is also in the death card. So the, the sun child is a sunburst that actually has become independent to live its own life on earth. However, the sun traditionally is still in the background watching on um, the sun child and, and nurturing the sun child, protecting it and taking care of, of that child. So the sun represents independence um, and to flourish knowing that you are taken care of by your spirituality, by your logic, I guess, by experience, by what you've been through. Judgment is also kind of a card to remind you of what you've been through, but also to rise above it and not to sit in that energy for too long it's saying yes you've been through this trauma yes you're you're recognized as going through it your angels and guides can see and your ancestors who are helping you move through this energy they're very supportive of you starting fresh moving in a completely new direction Ten of Cups is all about the happiness, the union, the togetherness. Now there may be someone new that is waiting for you to, I guess, to heal and to move on from what happened in your past or what what is happening that is hurting you um, and that you're healing from to move through that because somebody, you know, possibly a soulmate is waiting to come into your experience to show you what love really should be, what love actually is when it's true, unconditional and pure, when it flows between two. And that would be Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is actually the card where Two of Cups have come into union and they've established a life together two of cups is of course the soulmates the the couple who who belong together um the, it is two um souls who have been brought up in mirror ways uh, so to explain that two of cups is the third daughter of you know a third daughter of a family and the male is the third son of a family and they've grown up in similar ways with similar virtues and similar morals and ethics in life so they've grown up as mirrors to each other and then when they meet they find that um, resonance within each other and they kind of grow old together and they find that union and bliss in, in their their coupledom and they build a life according to that and that is what the ten of cups actually represents it's about finding that peace within um when you have found your match and you know living that life family union life together and the sun is victory success and that nurturing and independence as well uh, moving forward to a new direction all right let's get my in the sequel keeper mixed with lenormand and see what messages there are wow the stars again how cool is that healing as well as spirituality notice how the zodiac sign are around this 
it's really about spirituality your belief in you know maybe the zodiac maybe you're a strong believer you'll read your zodiac sign in the paper or online or you've got apps that tell you what your zodiac is um, for that day you could also be saying something online because um, the stars also represent you know the um, online uh, world uh, you know you could be communicating with someone online okay the mice and um, yeah it's really saying that maybe an online a connection that you had with someone that you wanted to have a union with went sour okay it also could be saying someone that you had a strong spiritual connection with went sour and you got the sun again so you got the stars and you got the sun now the sun is a card of days okay like uh, the moon is months you know the sun is days um you got two celestial beings in this reading with the um oracle cards so it's quite a significant destined type message the sun is again success vibrance nurturing much like the same meanings as the tarot sun um, that would be much like the fool saying this is a new direction that you need to go in the official person is a stop card indicating that this is where things stop okay and you need to um, contemplate this new fresh start that is pending obviously a union or a connection that you had maybe online or a very strong spiritual connection didn't work out with the mice the mice can also indicate COVID got in the way because the mice have that that history of the plague you know that is actually the meaning of this card it's like the bubonic plague where you know people get unwell because the mice got into their their crops and their bread and all that stuff and so it could also indicate literal illness okay um in but it's really talking about where is the illness the illness is in the couple the connection so it is a connection that didn't didn't go very well in the end and that's probably why the three of swords and the broken heart card came out but you've got the star indicating healing the sun nurturing taking care of yourself uh, much like the empress energy taking care of yourself loving yourself giving yourself the nurturing that you so need let's have a look what the gypsy oracle want to say for you taurus now if you like this reading please do click like it helps my channel to grow and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay in touch we have scholar scholar is much like a therapist or an advisor somebody that can talk to you give you good advice if you do have a friend or a trusted person around you that is giving you good advice that resonates and feels right in your heart it might be a sign to actually take that advice okay in regards to somebody that you really miss and you're longing for whether you're male or female now something is going to happen before the next holiday perhaps like thanksgiving or a birthday uh this christmas we just had you know halloween however you celebrate these events you know it is an event where gifts are given or you know goodwill is in the air it's just got this vibe of of a celebratory energy and that is the gift vibe the gift can also literally be you receiving a gift from somebody now um oh, this is literally a, a happy event like a celebration getting together and celebrating with goodwill uh, and this is something that you're waiting for so gift joyfulness wedding is you know all we need is the priest and it's an actual wedding um, but i need to see what this means because this could be celebrating a new contract of some sort 
um, and for journey card it's about progressing forward a contract that you're waiting for you're to celebrate or around a celebratory um, time frame where either someone is coming towards you someone that you're missing okay because this is the element of uh, longing for missing and um, feeling that loss okay um, however journey is either progressing forwards from that or someone literally coming to visit you um, size is the female version of a widower thief um, energy drainage because of possibly a third party an ex that is creating despair and somebody's hands are tied uh, because of their financial situation and that is the news that you're going to receive so quite a profound and personal message just came out through there Taurus let me know if any of that is your story and I certainly hope it gave you some light and guidance now let's have a look at some more personalized messages as well great news you've been accepted that's wonderful it looks like some success is coming to you that when the moon is waxing it is waxing right now stay tonight please i hope you can see that um so somebody really wants you to stay they've been thinking about you a lot Ooh, who is that i've got literally two blanks um, your soulmate is younger than you they might be uh, time to let them go heal and prepare for new love that's a pretty specific message for you too Taurus now I'm interested to know how this resonated comment below and like if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe um, consider joining my membership if you want to see it before anyone else and Taurus as always I send you love Peace and light. Bye for now.